Hi, this is Mark Smith with Family Tree Counseling Associates and got a fun topic for you today. You are what your record says you are. Bill Parcells, the legendary Hall of Fame football coach. Sometimes uh, when he was with the Cowboys, uh, people would suggest that maybe his team was better than their lowly average record indicated and he insisted you are what your record says you are. The NFL is a brutal place. I'm, this is a Sunday and I'm ready to probably watch the Cowboys get embarrassed against the Redskins uh, yet again. Um, and uh, the NFL has a way of uh, exposing weaknesses. If a team has a bad defense or can't protect against the pass or if a quarterback throws uh, interceptions like uh, my man Tony Romo has been known to do, they will expose you and they will hurt you. And uh, life is like that as well. Life is a feedback loop. Um, every year at the beginning of the season, I'm just positive that my Cowboys are going to excel, make the playoffs, contend for a Super Bowl, because they they have some talented players on their team. But what I find out in the end is that they had some weak spots, and those weak spots were exposed in dramatic fashion. And life really can be as brutal as an NFL linebacker. Um, life will expose your weak areas. So uh, after a crushing loss, a general manager and a coach shouldn't be depressed. They should be thankful for the feedback that this other team has provided for them. And they should take that information and find out who, who needs to be fired and who do they need to go get to make themselves better? So being crushed in a demoralizing personal defeat can be an opportunity for you to embrace and realize what needs fixed and how badly things are broken. That can lead to addressing areas that desperately need attention. Uh, after this uh, recent Cowboy loss uh, against the Green Bay Packers, uh, the uh, general manager owner, Jerry Jones, uh, I guess commented on blame for all and uh, forgot to mention himself. And in life sometimes, uh, if our finances go bad, if our, our marriage is a disaster, Many times what we do is we focus on other people, and the problem is never other people. The problem is us. It's our life. It's our life. So I'm going to go through a couple of quotes here about um, bad things that happen and what they mean, what they can mean for you. So the fact that Dallas gave up a 26-3 to lead last week it exposed who they were. Um, they don't have a defense, and sometimes Tony throws uh, bad interceptions in the fourth quarter. That's who they are, clearly. And so, uh, if you're buried in debt, it's not the economy. Don't I don't want to hear it's the economy. That was 2008. This is 2013. It's not the economy. It's you. It's you. It's you're spending too much or you're making bad business decisions, um, or you're not working hard enough. That's what it is. Or you're taking too many risks. I, I don't know what it is, but it's you. It's only you. It's not the economy. Um, if you're overweight, it's not a thyroid problem. It's you. You're eating too much. <laughs> you're, you're, you're bringing in too many calories, and you're not burning them by exercising. Um, if you're miserably married, that's about, that's about you. It's about who you picked and why you picked them. And it's just your turn to sort of pay the marital piper. 
and you are uh, reenacting old wounds from your family of origin. So do not make it all about my spouse had an affair, my spouse is an alcoholic, my spouse works too much, my wife won't clean the house. Your life is about you. And this record of marital dysfunction, it's telling you you need to address some things within yourself. Don't be Jerry Jones. <laughs> you know, don't blame everybody else and miss the real problem. Um, the real problem in your life is you. The real problem with the Dallas Cowboys is Jerry Jones. If you have burned through three marriages, that is truly all about you, my friend. Um, you need to get to work on yourself immediately, and you need to completely suspend yourself from all dating, and you need to kick yourself off Match.com because you're dangerous. You're dangerous. Uh, I, I'm not trying to shame you and say uh, any of these things make you a bad person. Of course, they don't make you a bad person. You're a good person. But uh, you're responsible for the decisions that you've made. And your dysfunction is what gives you your record. So um, don't say it's bad luck and don't say you haven't found the right person. There is no right person out there for you to find that's going to heal your family of origin stuff without you doing the work. You've got to do the work. And the best way to do that is to stay in the marriage that you're in and roll up your sleeves and get to work. If you have an addiction that's ravaged, ravaged your life, it's because there, there's a ravenous neediness and pain at the, the core of your soul, and you're seeking to medicate it. So you've got a problem. Don't minimize it. You alone are the architect of your life. You need to own that. I had a fella in this weekend, and he's clearly the number one architect of his family, and he was pointing fingers at his wife and at his kids, and he's, he's very, very bitter about them and what they're doing. You people this, you people that. And um, uh, the main person, he needs to, he needs to fire Jerry Jones. He, he needs to uh, take responsibility for uh, his leadership and what he has done and not be bitter. Um, so take responsibility for the condition of your marriage, for the condition of your finances, for the condition of your career, for the condition of your health. The main person in your life who's responsible for making your health a positive thing is not your doctor, it's you. You've got to take care of you. You've got to eat the right things and exercise. Take responsibility even for the behavior of your children and, and their activities, uh, for your weight, for your marriage. Uh, the good news is the fellow that you or the gal that you see in the mirror, that's the only person you have any shot of having much influence over to change. You can change you. That's about it. But if you change you, uh, you're, you will make an impact on your spouse, you will make a tremendous impact on your children and your children's children for generations to come. You can impact your work setting. Uh, you can do so many things, but it starts with the straw that stirs the drink, you. So, uh, again, the, the problem with the Cowboys is Jerry Jones. There's an old saying, it says, the fish stinks from the head down. And if Jerry were to very humbly assess what's been going on, he would fire Jerry Jones. And wouldn't that be a wonderful thing coming to the microphone and saying, I'm firing my general manager because he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> when you come to therapy, that's sort of what you're doing. You're saying, I'm out of ideas. Uh, the, uh, uh, marriage counselor between the wife and husband that, that we're going to read a book and we're going to just do this on our own. We fired that guy. We fired them because they don't know what they're doing. I'm, I'm going to hire a new coach. 
when you're coming to marriage counseling, you're you're hiring a new coach and you're hoping. Now, there's a lot of really bad coaches out there, so be careful. Um, so Jerry should hire uh, a football man who has a lot of knowledge and insight and just put him solely in charge. And if you need help with your marriage, find the best marriage counselor you can and get busy learning and turn over the reins of direction of what to work on to that therapist. So what, what's the truth about you? Um, what's your, what's your record? You know, what, what, what's your marital record? What's your fidelity record? What's your financial record? What's your record as a parent? What's your record when it comes to emotional intimacy? What is the truth about you and what are the changes that you need to make? My scale had the unmitigated gall and the audacity to lie to me a couple weeks ago. And there must be something wrong with this scale because I got on it and it said I weighed said I weighed 265 pounds. I've put on a few. Um, and I've never weighed that much. And uh, my denial about me says I'm not fat. <laughs> I'm not fat. Seems like the mirror would... Uh, have sufficed for this little bit of personal insight, you know, just looking in the mirror. But no, I, uh, that guy over there, I'm, I sometimes make fun of fat people, but I am a fat people. <laughs> That's the ironic thing about it. And uh, so, no, no, the, my record is my, I'm 265. That's my record. And come first of the year, I, I'm going to address that um, because I don't want to, I don't want to be that. But that, that's the truth, and I need to let the truth, it's hard to let the truth in. You know, every year, you know, I have all these hopes for the Cowboys, that they're going to be great, and they show flashes, but they're not going to make the playoffs, and if they do squeak in, they're going to get crushed, because the guy running the team is not qualified. He's an egomaniac. So, uh, who do you need to fire? Jerry Jones needs to fire every coach on that team, and he needs to fire himself, start from scratch. Who do you need to fire? What do you need to fire? I'm going to fire ice cream and cookies, and I'm going to hire P90X in 2014. Who do you need to fire? What do you need to fire? Um, uh, a lot of you need to fire defensiveness and instead hire non-reactive listening. It would do your marriage and yourself a world of good. I'll tell you something that everybody needs to fire. Not only fire, but take out back and execute. And that's a victim mentality. It's, it's the scourge of mankind. It's cancer. It's, it's what every divorce is caused by. is Somebody thinks they're a victim and somebody thinks the other person is the bad guy. That needs to be fired. It's, it's my lifelong mission in life to combat victim mentality because it, it is so destructive in every area of your life. It will cripple you because it will cause you to point fingers and blame the wrong people. And you can't then you can't fix it. You're just gonna go through life powerless and victim me and whiny. So um, I encourage you to hire recovery and higher awareness higher emotional brokenness, higher insight, higher humility, higher non-reactive listening, higher accountability, higher hunger and drive and hard work and courage to say and do the things that need to be done. And you need to fire victim mentality and reactivity and whininess and finger pointing and uh, not setting appropriate boundaries and overeating and overspending and being addictive and being uh, defended against truth about yourself and being arrogant, fire arrogance, fire emotional cluelessness and obliviousness. If you'll hire the right 
things and fire the right things, uh, you'll not only make the playoffs in 2014, you might bring home a Super Bowl trophy. Um, it's all about having the right attitude and always holding yourself to a very high level of accountability, not, not in a way that you're shaming yourself, but in a way that you know the truth about yourself. Um, people have wondered why my particular approach to, to counseling has been so successful. It's very successful. I've basically been booked here locally in Indianapolis since 1989. And I see a lot of clients, and I do have uh, 10 therapists that work for me. Um, but there's nothing warm and fuzzy about what I do. It's all about finding out what's true and getting you to look at that. And if I have to offend you to make that happen, then so be it. I've said this many times. I just like saying it is I can use a scalpel or I can go out back and get the jackhammer. It makes no difference to me. Uh, when you come in my office, I will, I will figure out what's true about you and I will, I will preach it from the rooftops and you'll either choke it down or I will chase you from the building. And that's the kind of counselor you want. You want somebody who's going to find out what's true and get you both to choke it down. And what's true is there are no victims. There are no bad guys. There's just two wounded people who married the right people who are walking around in the dark and hurting each other. And it can be a tremendous thing and a blessing, but it also can, people can miss the point and end up destroying a marriage that had a great deal of potential. So thanks for watching today. Go Cowboys. How about those Cowboys? I'm pathetic. Um, join our, uh, our, uh, YouTube channel family tree we got this is the 153rd video and we're up to like almost 54,000 views and it just seems like it's surging we had like uh, 89 new subscribers just in the last 30 days so we're thrilled uh, especially Jerry and I with the response of people all across the world I was looking yesterday, and, and our videos have been seen in 99 countries. How cool is that? We live in an amazing time where if you have a message of something that's true and you share it with passion, it can reach people all over the world for nothing. It doesn't cost you think fast. They, in fact, they pay us. So, uh, Also visit our website, which is FamilyTreeCounseling.com. I do have five eBooks that I really want to... Uh, impress upon you. There's one on abandonment that's very good and uh, it's our bestseller. If you have jealousy in your relationships, you need to get this book. It's called Managing Abandonment Issues Through Recovery. You can get it on our website. Just If you Google Abandonment Issues Mark Smith, you'll, you'll find it. So, And then also I have a book on shame that's supposed to be out in early January, but with the holidays, I, I, uh, it, it might be end of January, early February, but I, I'm close. I'm close to getting the book on shame done. So have a wonderful day. You are what your record says you are and, uh, make the changes that you need to make and look toward to 2014 being the very best year of your entire life. So God bless and uh, thank you very much for watching.